Hello, what's going on guys? Welcome to the Backstreet's YouTube channel. I'm your host, Kelvin Liu. This is a channel where we talk about bags, do bag reviews, give tips related to bags, and all that sort of good stuff. In this episode, we're going to be looking at this beautifully well-designed donut black collection, the third edition, Absorb. Let's roll that intro. When I first got this back into my hands, the first thing I noticed was the quality build. To be honest, Donut has always been faithfully delivering high quality bags, but this one elevates the standard drastically. You can see this bag has been built with artisan spirit and made with two materials of different textures. Aside from the Kudra fabric, which I think uh, all of you are pretty familiar with, if you never heard of Kodura fabric, do you even backpack, bro? In short, Kodura fabrics are a form of advanced fabrics that can be either super lightweight or tough and robust. Its features range from dirty denier, silk nylon, and packed clothes to performance apparel fabrics and bomber ballistic nylons. Crazy, yo. Ballistic nylons? I don't really know what it is, but it sounded very cool. Uh, that's what matters, right? These backpack's dimensions are 42 centimeters wide with side pockets and 12 centimeters deep and 50 centimeters high and fits a 15 inch laptop. This bad boy here is water repellent and don't confuse water repellent with water resistant. Water repellent bags offer a bit more protection uh, than water resistant ones as they are made with fabrics that are more effective than water resistant fabrics. You can tell when it causes the water to repel by making these little beats when it hits the fabric rather than going through. As a result, this bad boy is really hard to penetrate with any water. However, most water repellent bags use standard zippers with holes between the teeth and are normally stitched together leaving these tiny needle holes at the seams meaning there will be leakage in a serious downpour man but a huge exclamation but not for this bad boy here man mm -hmm. no no this this bad boy here comes with a fully waterproof zippers good job donut good job from the outside, there's a lot to like about this bad boy here. On the top, we have this metal donut plate here and a top handle as well. Of course, I wish that this top handle was padded. That would be awesome. But this is definitely not a deal breaker for me. Just something that would be good to have because it gets really heavy uh, when my 15 inch laptop and my cameras are in it. And it has this well padded strap and chunky metal adjusters and also this adjustable chest strap to help spread the load. And this is really useful and will save your shoulder and your back. There's also this tiny little uh, gadget pouch. Uh, but please note that uh, this is a separate item. Uh, we call them hook and they are perfect for small Bluetooth earphones. The back panel has two thick padding strips uh, making it comfortable and well ventilated to carry. And this luggage strap here is just so handy when you're traveling, uh, especially if you are always having a hard time getting your backpack to sit on your luggage. You can now worry no more. Again, these are those small details that make our life so much easier. Good job, Donut. One of the highlight features is this RFID blocking compartment. Um, what is that? You asked the right person. This is a compartment that blocks RFID signal, thus protecting your card's content from being stolen by scanners. Simple as that. Let's say someone obtains the card information. What would they do? I'm not a pro, but they are probably going to use a card magnetizing tool, transfer your data onto a new card, gain access to your accounts, and then who knows? So it is better to be safe than sorry. Load lifters. Wow, I love this. These are some features that look like nothing, 
but are going to save your traps from yelling at you. So, what are load lifters? I'm glad you asked. You have asked the right person again. Because I just Google it. And it says, Load lifters prevent the top of the back from falling away from the body and causing improper weight distribution and also give you the ability to tweak your pack a little bit more to find the most comfortable carry. Huh, it's, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Actually, I'm so surprised that they included this because normally you can only get this on some heavy duty and high-end backpacks. And not to mention, it is so well designed that nobody will even notice them. You know, some back load lifters are so poorly designed, it makes me want to cut them off. Really. And on the front, it has this uh, front compartment. You know, uh, I use them to put my Wacom tablet and a book. It has two side pockets. One is fastened by a magnet and another one is uh, fastened by a regular zipper. On the side and on the front, this bag is surrounded by um, these uh, little extra attachment straps for you to attach your gear and hook on anything that you want. Before we access the main compartment, there is this small front pocket here. I love how they position this pocket. It makes it harder for pickpockets to assess them. So normally I will use them to put my hot drive and my phone because it is near impossible to assess them without you noticing them. So it is very safe. And there's this uh, key holder here, or however you want to use them. So, the main compartment. Before you're able to assess the main compartment, you have to first unbuckle this metal buckle. It's so well designed and very solid. It sounds like music. Hmm. I don't know why, it just feel great. Once we open them up, you can tell this is a drawstring uh, closure type of design. The good thing about drawstring closure is you can expand the bag as you wish. And I'm not joking, man. You can pretty much fit in a whole pillow in it. Take me as an example. I'm a commercial photographer. Uh, even when I'm not on set shooting, I will still always uh, have my 15 inch laptop and camera with me all the time. But on top of that, I will also need to bring uh, along some changeable clothes, uh, jacket, you know, if I'm going for a full day of activity. Um, thanks to the bag's ability to expand, I can easily fit my 15 inch laptop, my Surface tablet, camera, one or two lenses, and still have plenty of space left over from my jacket and my clothes. You just simply can't do that with a regular backpack. For some of you, uh, drawstring seems harder to assess, that's true, but did I mention you can assess them from the side too? It comes with this waterproof zipper and also fastened by claps for additional security. I found being able to easily assess them from the side is really, really handy feature. Again, good job, Dona. Good job. Inside the main compartment, uh, it is pretty straightforward. You can fit in a 15 inch laptop, your tablet, some books, and they have got this stretchable water bottle compartment, some tiny stretchable mesh pockets as well, which is very handy too, to be honest. I didn't think it was going to be that useful. See, you can just assess them like that. And it is safe. Because this is an inner compartment, so you can put your valuable things in it. So, there you have it, an in-depth look on this beautiful bad boy here. I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, please gently smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. Click that bell notification so that you will be notified once we upload a new video. I'm going to produce more videos like that in the future. So remember to let me know in the comment section down below what questions you have or give me some suggestions on what bag you want me to review next. Until next time, thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day. Do bag reviews 
give tips related to back and all this sort of good stuff. <sighs> or that sort of good stuff.